Hundreds of people in the valley say they are hearing voices in their heads. And those voices are being transmitted by microwave or other methods. Well, several viewers asked us to investigate what they call electronic harassment. KMIR 6's Angela Monroe joins us now with what she's discovered. Angela. Electronic harassment, synthetic telepathy, voice to school technology. Chances are you haven't heard of these terms, but after searching the internet, I found dozens of websites dedicated to the phenomenon and several Valley residents who say they're victims. How much more can you invade me? than to go into my brain. It yeah. sounds like somebody else is reading the book, only it's thoughts. We're not having a group hallucination. This is actually something that's happening. These men all live in the area, didn't know each other before the voices started, and say someone is playing mind games with them. Mostly it's a lot of derogatory uh, comments about whatever you're thinking about. Only time I ever had a whole sentence, he said, this is not about you, which just frosted me. If it's not about me, what the hell am I going through all this for? Kevin Bond says he used to have a normal life. I was living in the San Diego area. Uh, I was clerking for a federal judge, and I noticed that I was being followed by a whole bunch of people. According to the websites, what Bond is describing is called gang stalking. He moved to Palm Springs to escape. I started hearing, as you'll hear, the hearing voices and what they'll call voice to skull or microwave hearing. Bob Stansfield says his experience was similar and started a decade ago. They were active in following me around here and I started hearing the, the, the voices uh, a little bit after the, the uh, uh, vehicular stalking. Randall Ringer says the voices started when he was undergoing chemotherapy. The first thing that was said was Randall Ringer and I sat up straight and I went to the bath, into the bathroom, and I looked in the mirror, looked myself in the eyes, and I said, did that really happen? Bond says he's found more than 300 victims locally and is tracking others across the state through billboards. In Johnson Valley, a Freedom House just opened to help people who believe they are being targeted. To many of you who find yourselves uh, the, the object of covert harassment, that there is hope and that you are not alone and that we are striving uh, to, uh, to find legislation uh, for, and we're working towards freedom for all. Derek Robinson leads a national group called Freedom from Covert Harassment and Surveillance. He says he knows who's playing mind games.